Okay, so let's get started. Um, how to build furniture with Shaper 3D inside the woodshop. As Danielle mentioned, today I will show you the, the whole process of uh, a project I did, or I still work on with my students uh, in my furniture design class utilizing Shaper 3D and then creating from uh, those models accurate physical models and uh, for example like this one but there's a particular process now how you should start about creating the furniture uh, and that is kind of like what I will focus on a lot inside this webinar so before you start with a design project even while making a furniture that it's like a box uh, looks very simple there are a lot of elements you need to or you should consider. For example, here, this is a reference photo. You can see the current, the nightstand for the bed. So that part I would like to replace with something that is more functional. The main element first, what you need to do is understand proportion, how wide, how big, how deep, uh, that's kind of like the visual part, but also ergonomics. How are you going to use it? What do you put onto it? What do you put into it? I have a pretty big furniture collection just for uh, exercises and examples for my students so they understand how parts are being built. So you see here one uh, a nightstand I have. Here is another one. And you can see the difference already is the, the proportion and the size. Also the materials, this one is more boxy, this is more uh, rectangular. And they are very good to have and study and kind of like dry prototype. Because I could, I could sketch something on paper, which I will show, but this is nothing I can touch. Then the next step is, I really like this more rectangular part, but this one is too flat. So how would this look when I give this more volume? In my head, this looked actually pretty good. So I got some uh, corrugated cardboard and made a basic box, used some of my baby toys, as you can see below, to prop it up a little bit. With this a little bit too big um, and this one too tall, but cross-section-wise nice, I made another version. So this is more squarish, like a different view from the top. So you can also see how far it's getting away from the wall. And how would this look when actually I put two drawers on and make it not squarish? So you see, this actually were very cheap and very effective uh, prototyping techniques before I even go into anything sketching, CAD, or even woodworking, just cardboard stuff is very, very effective. 